here in Miami, Lone Depot Park. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Miami Marlins. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, Edward Cabrera. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. Will elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. All right, ready to get underway. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. On the ground, right side. Arise on the first. One up, one down. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Jesse Winker. Well, he's been incredible recently, Boog. Last month, his on-base percentage was over 500. It's just ridiculous, man. I don't think my on-base percentage was ever 500 in a month. This guy's so disciplined as a hitter, it leads him to finding good pitches to hit, and he's got the patience to just take a walk as well. One out, base is empty. Ball one. one there. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's Lane Thomas. Thomas hitting third in the lineup, and he was a fifth round pick back in 2014. Two down, nobody on. One chase that time. Offering is in for a strike. And a swing and a miss there. Well, he left that change up up. Got away with one there. And he'll take it, but doesn't want to make that mistake again. Got him looking. Nets go down one, two, three. Nothing doing for Washington. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Major League Baseball is on the show. here in Miami and on the hill the lefty Mitchell Parker what do you have on him singing there's always a bit of a learning curve for rookie pitchers you've got to get familiar with these big league hitters and it's more of a chess match but I think this kid's got good stuff and the potential to be great bottom of the first Luis Arise stands in He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. That one finds the zone. 0-1. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline yourself can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. Rip to first, caught. And time now for the Marlins lineup. And no doubt a big factor in this series so far, Brian De La Cruz. Boog, he's really been showing off the pop in this series so far. Two homers, and you know he'd love to add on with another shot today. I'm interested to see how they approach him. Brian De La Cruz, the next to hit. In the air, right field. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Around second now as they still don't have it. And he's got himself a triple. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. There are a lot of nicknames people have attached to hits like that. Blooper, flare, duck snort, lawn dart, etc. But whatever you want to call it, it's a knock. And those are the ones that will make you smile as a hitter just about every time.
Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Fall off foul. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. There's the swing and a miss. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. Here's a rocket to right field. Makes the grab. Runner tags for home. And they'll score first. It's one zip. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He burled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. Here's Josh Bell. The switch hitter batting right. And first offering is fouled off. The line of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. Two outs. And now one and two. Just missed. It's a good take. And a pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Two outs, bases empty. That one way inside. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. So now three and two. And that's too high, ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. At the play, Jesus Sanchez. Well, that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Here's Tim Anderson. Anderson. Upstairs. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And there's the ball. Tough spot right here. A couple of runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. And another ball. First and second, two down. And a four pitch walk. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Now a chance for Nick Gordon. He's hit. One run is in. A second scores as well. Three nothing. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Emmanuel Rivera getting ready to hit. Rips that one to right. Thomas hauls it in to end the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the Marlins three, and the Nationals nothing. Second inning set to go, and here is Luis Garcia. Luis Garcia. Cabrera back to work. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Balls it in, and there's one away. That is good. 
the first baseman. And now the first baseman, Joey, Joey Manessis. Manessis. Just missed. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. Back gone. He crushes that one to center field. His first homer of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 3-1. Singy, he's been battling all season long for that swing. I'm sure a big weight off of his shoulders, Boog. He probably feels 20 pounds lighter jogging around the bags. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. So one out, nobody on. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Riley Adams. That hey. one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Ground ball, left side. And that's a fair ball. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Now here is Ildemaro Vargas. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Chisholm makes the grab on the run. Now it's Nick Senzel. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. And that's in there for strike one. Just missed. With the tying run at the plate, here at the top of the second. And now it's one and two. Swing and a miss. And that is that. One in the inning for the Nationals on the solo homer. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Bottom of the second. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. The pitch. And a foul ball. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Boog, our man, Daryl Parker, DP at home plate for this one. Pretty average size strike zone, but the book on him is that it sort of moves around. You can't always count on how he's going to call it from game to game. On to first. That's one out the bottom of the second. Yeah, he's one of those umpires that I have to see make his call on a borderline pitch before I start making my call. Like you said, it's not always predictable, but it's pretty fair for the most part. So up next, Luis Arias. 0 for 1 so far. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. And, and 
and That's one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Next offering misses down and away. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Left-hand batter waits. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And next is the designated hitter, Brian De La Cruz. One for one. He tripled in his first trip. That right. one's in there. One, one. one. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. Good well, eye right the there. Plate. And that one is lifted in the air. Nice grab on the run. And that'll do it. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. And here's the rookie center fielder, number 30. The right-hander back to work. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Arise on to first. Leadoff hitter gone to the third. Now batting, shortstop, C.J. So the lineup flips over. Up now for Washington, C.J. Abrams. Grounded out his first time. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Oh, one's the count. Hey, doubled up on the off-speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little different hey. here. Struck him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Here's Jesse Winker. Struck out swinging his first time. And takes low for ball one. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Two outs. Bows it off, still one and two. And that one missing low. And the next pitch is way outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two down, nobody on. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at-bat. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Thomas stands in here, takes ball one low. Winker, the runner at first with two gone. You know, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Hey. 
And a swing to miss. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And downstairs. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Luis Garcia to bat next. Tying run at the plate. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Got him. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Marlins three and the Nats one. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. On the corner for a strike, going on. You know, these Marlins doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers right. back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special hey. stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. And another yep. ball. Connect on the curveball struck him out. Josh Bell at the number plate three, now. The walk and a run Josh. scored his first time. Bell. Right through there for a strike. Oh. And now the count is even. Base is empty, one away here in the last half of the third. Next no pitch is outside. And that's, that's down and away. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And that's no, ball four. Ball four. Close pitch there, but you've got to forget about Don't that like call you. if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first, and then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Sanchez, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Good eye in that spot. And that's outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Foul ball there. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fast ball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. The first one away. Got him. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. The batter number seven. Tim Anderson now at the plate. Anderson. Stack center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. There's a strike.
left hand hitter waits this one in the air center field makes the grab and that's the inning Marlins strand a pair and the score stays three to one. Back here in Miami, and now it's Luis Garcia. Second baseman, Luis Garcia. And here it comes. Nope. Just Ball missed. Line. You know, these Nationals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around hey. and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. And he deals. Slap the other way, foul. That one missed. And that just misses. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch before looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. And here's the first baseman, Joey Manessis. He's already homered in this game. Late on that fastball. Oh, one's the count. The Nationals trailing by two. Top half of inning number four. Not ball, close with that one. And it's a ball and a strike. Wouldn't ball chase two. that time. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Still two and two after the foul ball. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Three two. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter two balls and no strikes but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Adams in the box now takes strike one. Manessas at first one gone. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 2. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to it. Tying run at the plate. That one way outside. Two balls, two strikes. Fights it off. You'll see another. Here comes a pitch to the right side into the outfield base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Making a move at second base. Nationals turn to a pinch runner. Nassim Nunez. One down. Stepping in, Ildemaro Vargas. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Check swing. He held up. And that's ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. So the tying run is second. Late swing, foul to the left.
And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Two and one now, two aboard. Right through there for a strike. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Runners at first and second with one gone. Gets a piece and stays alive. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Two on, one out. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Tag C. He's in the third of the wild pitch. Nick Senzel digging in for the Nationals. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Up the middle, the rise. Tosses the first, third out, and that ends the frame. So the Nats leave a pair, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. Now into the ball game on defense, Joey Gallo. He takes over as the new first baseman. And now for the Marlins, Emmanuel Rivera. He's over one. Emmanuel Rivera. The pitch. Not even close there. And that is ball one. And another ball. The wind and the pitch. Oh, nope. he doesn't get the call. And it's 3-0. Well, oh. oh, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Pumps in a strike, and now 3-1 and one the count. And it goes just foul. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Sizing this one up. And there's one down. And at the play for Miami, Nick Fortes. Grounded out his first time up. That one the other way. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Up next for the Marlins, the second baseman, Luis Arias. Now it's the Marlins' leadoff hitter, Luis Arias. And that's Ooh, off inside. the inside edge. 1-0. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. As the lead remains, 3-1. here at Lone Depot Park and now it's going to be number 30 and a pitch that That's misses ball. ball one Miami's bullpen with some action Tanner Scott the anchor of the staff is getting ready to close this one out Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Right through there for a strike.
and a pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Here's the shortstop at the play. C.J. Abrams in for a strike. It's 0-1. That one hit to right. Has it in for the end. And there are two outs. Last chance for the Nats in this one. Jesse Winker digging in for the Nationals. He's over one. Bounced up the middle. Can't glove it cleanly. One out away from this game being over, but an infield single keeps them alive. They're still breathing, and maybe this provides that last-minute spark. So, man aboard. Next to hit for the Nats, Lane Thomas. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1. Winker leads off first with two down to the inning. In the air out towards right center. Sizes this one up. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Marlins claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 3 1 ball game. Quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3 1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.